Enforcement of the bill will take into account the difference of culpability between a layperson and a political operator looking to influence these elections. Minister in charge of Public Service Chan Chun Singh gave that assurance in response to questions on the changes to election advertising. Michelle Teo with this report. With the new amendments, the returning officer can issue corrective directions to any content publisher, including social media companies, to remove or disable access in Singapore to election advertisements that breach regulations. Only those in private and domestic settings will be exempted. Can Minister clarify what private or domestic means, given that a chat on WhatsApp or Telegram can range from two, part two participants to thousands? Further, can Minister clarify how publication provisions will apply to a situation where communications of, of content between two or more individuals that is initially private or domestic in nature is subsequently forwarded on a wider scale? In his reply, Minister in charge of Public Service Chan Chun Singh said that the returning officer typically looks at three factors. First, the number of individuals in Singapore who are able to access the content. Second, whether there are restrictions to access, such as whether it is a public or closed group. And last, the relationship between the sender and receiver, if there are strangers or known to each other. Let me reiterate that it is not the, our intention to penalise unintentional breaches of the election advertising laws. In general, individuals who have breached these laws will be notified and given the opportunity to voluntarily rectify the breach. Further enforcement action will be considered only if individuals do not comply. Only three MPs spoke in the debate of both bills. Taking the stand, opposition MP Sylvia Lim said that there was no prior consultation or information about the changes to election advertising, unlike previously. She also sought assurances on vote secrecy at nursing homes. This is particularly important as unlike other seniors, residents of nursing homes are more frail and dependent on the care they receive, often at subsidised rates. Residents may worry about the consequences of their vote. Their fears may be irrational, but I believe assurances to them about the secrecy and freeness of their vote are critical. What measures will be taken in this regard? For those who are able to make their way to the special polling station set up in the premises of the nursing homes, the procedures are the same as the regular polling stations. Candidates will be able to send polling agents to the nursing homes to observe that voting continues to be secret and the various procedures are adhered to. During the vote count, the Workers' Party abstained from voting on the presidential election bill, citing their position of being opposed to the office of the elected president. Speaker, we request our abstention to be recorded. <coughs> the bill was passed without any amendment.